Scientists have discovered the first direct evidence of a so-called hot zone, feeding a supervolcano in southern Italy that experts say is approaching eruption conditions. Campi Flegre is a volcanic caldera west of Naples that last erupted centuries ago. The area has been relatively quiet since the 1980s when the injection of magma, or fluid, into the volcano's shallower structures caused a series of small earthquakes. Using seismological techniques, scientists have now pinpointed the location of the hot zone where hot material rose and formed the caldera during this period. The research was led by Dr. Luca de Siena at the University of Aberdeen along with INGV Osservatorio Vesuviano, the RISSC Laboratory at the University of Naples, and the University of Texas at Austin. It provides a benchmark that could help predict how and where future eruptions might occur. One question that has puzzled scientists is where the magma is located beneath the caldera, and our study provides the first evidence of a hot zone beneath the town of Pozzuoli that extends into the sea at a depth of 4 kilometers, said Dr. De Siena. While this is the most likely location of a small magma chamber, it could also be the hot fluid-filled upper part of a larger magma chamber, located deeper. Dr. De Siena's research suggests that the magma was prevented from rising to the surface in the 1980s by a 1 to 2 kilometers deep rock formation blocking its path, forcing it to release pressure along a lateral route. While the implications are still not fully understood, the relatively low amount of seismic activity in the area since the 1980s suggests that pressure is building within the caldera, making it more dangerous. Over the last 30 years, the volcano's behavior has changed. It has become hotter as fluids seep through the caldera, explained Dr. De Siena. De Siena. Whatever caused the activity beneath Pozzuoli in the 1980s has moved elsewhere, so the danger is not just in the same place, but could now be much closer to Naples where it is more densely populated. This means that the risk from the caldera is no longer just central, but has migrated. Indeed, you could now characterize the Campi Flegre as a pot of boiling soup beneath the surface. What this means in terms of the scale of future eruptions, we can't say, but there's no doubt that the volcano is becoming more dangerous. The big question we have to answer now is whether it's a big magma layer that's rising to the surface, or something less worrisome that could find its way to the surface in the sea. The Flegrean Fields, partly known as the Campi Flegre, are an area located near the west coast of Italy that has a long volcanic history. There are 24 craters and other landforms around them that were formed by eruptions. The last eruption was less violent but created a mountain in the area in 1583 called Monte Nuovo. Notably, the Campi Flegre are also close to Naples, to the west. Vesuvius is to the east. In this new effort, researchers have studied rock samples collected in the area to learn more about the history of eruptions. By learning more about the conditions that lead to eruptions, volcanologists hope to one day find a way to predict eruptions. Previous research has suggested that Campi Flegre has had two major eruptions in the past 60,000 years, 
one about 15,000 years ago, and one 39,000 years ago. Both were described as catastrophic, offering clues about what might happen if the volcano were to erupt in the same way it does now. The area is home to about 1.5 million people. There have also been many smaller eruptions. What they all have in common is changes in the rock, glass, and minerals that were moved from underground to the surface by geological forces. The researchers studied rocks known to have been ejected or pushed out of the ground by multiple eruptions and then compared them to see if they could find patterns. The researchers found evidence that Campi Flegrei may be entering a new phase of pressure buildup, a phase that could potentially precede an eruption. However, they also note that they found no evidence that the volcano is imminent. The kind of buildup they describe occurs over hundreds or thousands of years.